What's up, YouTube? It's ya boy, the Blu-ray Bandit, back once again with another pawn shop haul video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your best shot at a free digital code. Let's see what I can find. <laughs> Welcome back. I hit two pawn shops. This is the first. Let's see what I got. First pawn shop was a La Familia. At this shop, I purchased four titles at $12.78. That brings the per title average to $3.19 each. First up, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood starring Tom Hanks. This is the Fred Rogers of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood biopic, sort of. It's not really a biopic because it doesn't tell his biography. It's more the story of a cynical reporter who's tasked with writing a story on Fred Rogers. Really, he's just trying to find a more negative angle to base the article on. And yet, Fred Rogers, as portrayed by Tom Hanks in this movie, just doesn't give him anything to go with in that direction. It frustrates him, and then eventually he learns that Fred Rogers is actually a nice, though imperfect person, and that's okay. That's kind of what Fred Rogers espouses. It's a good one. It's a good drama. It kind of plays as an indie drama, even though I think it had a major studio release. I'd never seen this one on the shelf before. It's relatively new as far as when it was originally released. It's maybe a year or two old. It didn't scan particularly high, roughly 4 or $5 on eBay, but that's okay. I bought it to add to the collection. Speaking of collections, this is Now You See Me, 1 and 2. These are movies that I don't have in my collection, but I might keep this one just because it's a nice space-saving package. If somebody else wanted to watch them, I'd have both titles right there. It's kind of a boring package, like it's very inconspicuous and, I don't know, this white border with kind of this really bad Photoshop artwork of the cards. It's a stark contrast to one of my earlier videos where I showed you the Now You See Me 2 lenticular screen. This is basically the opposite of how cool that looked, but I don't particularly love these movies. I'm kind of just adding it to the collection to juice it a little bit. It didn't scan particularly high on eBay. I think $6 for now, adding it to the collection. Another collection, this is The Expendables 1, 2, and 3, aka all of them. I like The Expendables movies well enough. I mean, they're basically just action popcorn trash films, right? I mean, who are we kidding here? The Expendables series is not exactly high art. It's just a good reason to get a bunch of action stars together to blow shit up. And with that goal in mind, it does a pretty good job. I do not own any of them on Blu-ray until now. I'll be keeping this Space Saver collection. It's scanned at roughly $8 on eBay. Yet another collection. This is the The Man With No Name trilogy that contains the classic westerns A Fistful of Dollars for a few dollars more and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, all starring Clint Eastwood. I've found this title in pawn shops before, and I've sold it before for over $20. So I bought this one in order to resell it. Unfortunately, when I scanned it this time, I found sales of this for around $9, so that's what I'm going to estimate it at right now. I'm guessing this has been sold at a discount recently, which drove the price down since then. So it's not quite worth what it was once worth, for sure. But it's still a good collection, a good trilogy of films. If I get $9 for it, that's about triple what I paid for it. So it'll help pay for some of the titles I plan on keeping. The next pawn shop and the last in this haul... I paid $23.43 for 13 titles, bringing them to $1.80 each. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I like this movie. It's all right, as DC movies go. If you've been watching my videos for a little while, you know I'm on a new mission to acquire every superhero comic book film ever made. I guess that means I have to collect the DC films as well. I mean, I don't love Birds of Prey, but I'm not going to hate having it on the shelf. It'll definitely stand out. I mean, it's a female, whoop, with digital code. It's a female protagonist. That makes it kind of unique, for sure. Got the DVD and the Blu-ray in perfect condition. The case is flawless. I wish it came with a slipcover, but I'm fine without it. This scanned at $7, but I'm keeping it. Hobbs and Shaw on 4K. This is the Fast and Furious spin-off movie. 
starring Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham. It's a fun action movie, not much more than that. I've bought this on 4K before and resold it. I think I sold it for roughly nine or with digital code. From memory, I think it sold for $9. I'm going to resell this one as well. I don't really care to have it in my collection. I watched it once. I'll probably never watch it again. Not that it was that bad. I just, I have better things to watch. I don't know what to tell you. Either way, this one's going to eBay. Bad Boys, Bad Boys 2, and Bad Boys for Life. All the Bad Boys movies. This collection scanned for $8. This one scanned for 7 I did not own any of these on Blu-ray. Now I do the entire trilogy in one shot. Under $4. Bad Boys for Life is definitely the weaker of the three. But overall, it's a good series. And I'm happy to put them on my shelf. 300 and 300 Rise of an Empire. Both movies I enjoy. Both movies I already own on Blu-ray. I will be selling those and upgrading to this space-saving collection. Individual discs for each movie. Good quality case. Just a simple shelf-saving upgrade. Jumanji, the next level. This is the sequel to the Jumanji reboot series. This one is definitely not as good as the first Jumanji reboot movie, the non-Robin Williams one, the one with this cast and crew. But it was kind of fun. I don't know. I haven't decided what... With digital code. I haven't decided if I'm keeping this yet. I saw it in movie theaters. I haven't seen it since. I really have no desire to watch this ever again, but maybe someday I will. Who knows? It's not one that I would hate having on my shelf. This is another relatively recent movie. It's scanned at $7 on eBay. Haven't decided quite yet if I'm going to sell it or keep it. Last Exorcism Part 2. Not as good as the original Last Exorcism, but not bad. I really like the first Last Exorcism. It's found footage style really worked for me. I don't really remember if this continues that trend. I think it did, but it's been a while since I've seen this. Not sure I'm going to permanently add it to the collection. I kind of want to rewatch the first two and then make a decision whether I'm going to keep either of them. I already own the first one. Either way, this scanned at roughly $6. I paid less than two for it. So if I decide to sell it, I'll get my money back and then some. And finally, Lethal Weapon Collection. I can't believe I scored this for less than $2. It's not that it's particularly high value or anything. It's just crazy to me that you can buy all four Lethal Weapon movies for less than $2. It just seems crazy to me. I don't know. Uh, I enjoy the Lethal Weapon movies. I actually already own this collection. I think I paid $10 brand new on Amazon. My copy is still sealed and with slipcover. I will be selling that new copy and replacing it with this used copy for maximum return. Perfect case, perfect condition. Each film gets its own disc. Love it. There's the bonus disc. Fun action movies starring Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. I'm sure you guys have seen them. If you haven't seen them, check it out. All right, 20 titles. Total of $36.21. That's an average price of $1.81 per title. Total estimated value of $91 for this pawn shop haul. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your best shot at a free digital code. I'm too old for this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye.